make organic chances is very, very small. Um, but we want to make it smaller so that a lot of new applications could be come up because uh, this device is so small, we could integrate onto different kind of existing components or equipment, for example, some sensors of the medical invasive catheters that we could put in inside our body. Different from the traditional fabrication method, which mainly focus on thermal evaporation, we develop a very sophisticated solution sharing method. This solution method sharing method allow us to deposit a monolayer of organic crystals. So the purpose of our technique is to develop a large area single crystal of the semiconductor. Uh, this large area is talking about millimeter to centimeter square. And we are, say, in two or three years, we are planning to expand it to even inches or even dozens of inches in that kind of uh, scale. And more importantly, it's a single crystal. So that the, you can imagine the electron movement in the single crystal is more smooth and faster than in the polycrystalline material. In our group, we have like two directions. The first one is we how to make the, like the, the world record uh, organic transistor, and the other is how to use that. So my work is try to link the research area with the, with the industry, so we will try to use the organic transistor. We usually use the transistor in some like, biomedical applications, like sensing the, the level of glucose in our saliva, or sensing the inflammation biomarkers in our serum. This could be earlier diagnosis, much better therapy, you need to have this kind of 2D materials to suppress the contact resistance. Contact resistance is the key for you to shrink down the device dimensions. So these are the, 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 the secrets. We need to make it thin enough so that it could be small enough. Small enough, bring up new applications. That's the direction. Traditional electronics devices is mainly dominated by silicon, which is rigid, all right, and relatively complicated fabrication steps. Right now, we could make it on the plastic polymer, which is uh, quite thin, okay? or you could make it extremely thin if you want, so that you could stick it onto your skin for non-invasive applications. At the same time, you could stick it onto the medical tools put inside your body for some invasive uh, sensing. The performance of the crystals is getting better and better in the past few years, and uh, I would say we are uh, just Particularly in this ground, we are in the first class of the world and we are hoping to get more exciting uh, performance and report it in the academic journals. We are trying to not just make a difference, we are trying to make an impact. 